Hey guys, Land Outdoors here, and today we are going to be tying just a little general spider bug type fly. So we are going to be starting off with 140 UTC um, olive, and just wrap a thread base going all the way back to the bend of the hook. And now we are going to tie in our foam. So we're going to take the tip just like so and cut it so it's like an arrow right at the front. And kind of squish it around so the foam is all conditioned. And just tie it in right by the tip. You want to make sure it's tied in really well. If your thread slips out, that's okay. And once it's tied in nice and well, take a little piece of snail and just take it by the tip right here and get all those fibers out the front so you just expose those two little cords and we are just going to tie it in right on top of the foam by the two cords. And we are going to go ahead and advance our thread all the way up to about an eye's length behind the eye the hook and start wrapping our chenille going up to where we stopped our thread once we get to that point give it a few more wraps kind of make a little chenille head and then tie it off and then just trim the excess. Now we are going to take our head of the fly, or not the head, but the foam, and wrap it up to where we stopped our chenille, and just tie it down nice and tight. Once you have that, just trim the foam so it's slightly in front of the eye and then if you want you can kind of round the head a little bit like so and now I'm going to take some silly legs take two of them, if I can split them, there we go, so we're going to take two and tie uh, some on either side of the fly, the color choices don't really matter too much, you can tie this fly with pretty much any color foam, any color legs, any color chenille. Just kind of use whatever you have. Um, I found that tying out the black body with kind of a body, they'll stand out and legs will kind of stand out too a little bit. Works pretty well. Just secure down those legs pretty well. And trim them uh, trim the front legs about a head's length in front of the head and then trim the back legs about the same thing but from the butt of the fly so it 
it's looking something like this. Now, just go ahead and split the legs. I find it's easiest to use a bobbin if you have one. But just for now, I'm using my fingers. And I like to just cut my legs before I split them. So I'm having to cut two legs instead of four that are all flopping everywhere. Once all your legs are cut, you can go ahead and do a whip finish right in front of the, or right behind the eye, just kind of underneath the fly a little bit. Like so. This is very hard to do. Because you try not to trap any of the legs in your whip finish. I'm going to do just one more time. Because this fly. Oh, it seems to get smashed whenever it's hit. Then if you want to, after we cut our thread, take a little bit of super glue or zap a gap I'm just using Gorilla Glue take some and just put a little dot of it right on top of the body kind of smear it around put some on either side where the legs are. Smear that around. And then just wait for that to dry. And there you have it. You have your little spider. Just your little spider. I forgot to break these legs. Alright, there we go. Alright, so there you'll have it. There's the spider. Uh, if you liked the video, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.